Well, there's a new report out today that says across the world we aren't doing enough to cut down on air pollution. 97% of cities worldwide are not meeting new standards set by the World Health Organization, which is interesting. And Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is here to break it all down for us. Doesn't look great. Uh, so last year, the WHO actually cut the standards at half. Mm -hmm. So they're really setting a much stricter goal, which is a good thing. You want cleaner air. But when they did that, numbers changed quite a bit. Hmm. The report says that air pollution continued to spike to some unhealthy levels. And according to this report, no country worldwide met the World Health Organization's guidelines. Only 3% of cities across the world were able to meet the WHO standards. And among the world's worst effects, were Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India, which has the most polluted city in the world in New Delhi, and taking home the top spot for the fourth consecutive year. So continuous uh, issues in that part of the world. Right. What about here in the U.S.? According mm -hmm. to this report, because as you say, the metrics changed, mm -hmm. cities in the U.S. appear to be getting worse as well. Yes, uh, certainly. So not a, a lot of great news here in the U.S. And in major American cities, the pollution rose two to three times above the air pollution guidelines that are set by the W. WHO. Los Angeles was the most polluted city in the country despite decreasing their overall levels by 6%. So they have made great strides there, but still they'd like to do better. Mm -hmm. On the opposite end, there were two U.S. territories that did meet the standards, the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And in the report, they cited several contributing factors to the country's increasing air pollution, mm -hmm. reliance on fossil fuels, increasing severity of wildfires, and varying enforcement of the Clean Air Act have added to the U.S. air pollution. And of course, coming out of a downturn in the economy when there are less people traveling, less people on the roads, and less industry during the peak of COVID. Interesting. So focusing in more on Massachusetts, mm -hmm. how about the city of Boston? How does that look in this whole picture? Yeah, so we've had a good run here in Boston. Yeah. We had air pollution levels dropping for three straight years. But according to the WHO, the city had its first rise in 2021, going up more than 11%. And over in neighboring Worcester, their levels went up as well over the last year. Again, some of this is just more people out there we know what roads are like in Massachusetts and this right. is fine particulate pollution so as more and more people have been going back to their routines you almost kind of expect to see a spike but they really want to get that under control yeah. makes sense people are back to work so mm -hmm. those numbers are going to go up. absolutely Eric Fisher thank you so much